You have them. You just don't know it. It's Aisha Cogborn, your coach from Startup Life Support. Now, when I was a kid, I loved school, but I hated gym class, especially the presidential fitness challenge. I couldn't climb the rope or do a pull up or even run for more than 30 seconds without tripping over my own feet. But every week I had to get in front of that class and it pulled at all of those insecurities about my weight, about the foot that turned in and the fact that I couldn't do the things that came so naturally to everybody else. Just the thought of gym class struck terror in my heart. We all have them. I call them insecurity triggers. It's those things that continually dish out blows to our self-confidence. It may be speaking in front of a group or walking into a room with people where nobody looks like you. Or maybe it's that relative that no matter what you say or do, they find a way to ridicule you. Even though these situations probably don't occur on a regular basis, if we don't acknowledge them and address them, they're probably doing damage. So what can you do about it? Here are three options. Number one, you can do nothing. But here's the danger with that. That thing, whatever it is, is probably keeping you from going after what you really want. You may be downsizing your dreams to avoid the pain, even if you don't realize it. Your second option, you can get better. If there's something about you that's impacting your self-confidence that you have the ability to change, don't just accept that that's the way it has to be. It may be your personal appearance or your skill level or a, a character trait or a habit that is impacting you. If it's bothering you, change it. The third option, you can embrace it. There may be things about you or, or your life that you don't have the ability to change. And if that's the case, how can you change the way that you see that thing? I love when Wayne Dyer says, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. When I think back to gym class, I didn't realize it, but every week when I had to get in front of them and expose those insecurities, I was actually getting over the fear of failure. I was used to coming in last, used to getting laughed at. I had plenty of practice in falling and dusting myself off and continuing to run. And that's why I can stand in front of you confidently today and tell you if things aren't going the way that you expect in your business, get up, dust yourself off and keep running. It's not the end of the world. So here's your homework. I want you to think about what are those insecurity triggers for you? Are they impacting your, your confidence to the point that they're affecting your business or your relationships? If so, what can you do to either change it or embrace it? Now, I wanna hear from you. So whatever adjustments you need to make, Tell us about it in the comments below because we can all learn from your experiences. Well, that's it for this week. So until next time, walk in confidence on purpose.